everyone welcome back to my youtube channel now i am going to solve question number one of weekly contest 466 minimum operations to equalize array so in this problem you are given an integer array nums of length n in one operation choose any sub array nums l to r and l is less than equal to r and r is less than n and l is greater than equal to zero and replace each element in that subarray with the bitwise end of all the elements right we have to return the minimum number of operations required to make all the elements of nums equal and a subarray is a contiguous non empty sequence of elements within an array right okay so see here example number 1 nums is like this 1 and 2 right so now here if I treat this as my L and treat this as my R so what is the bitwise end of these two so I'm going to write L like this right in binary form and I'm going to write 2 like this in binary form right and the bitwise end of these two is nothing but 0 right this bit value is 1 this bit value is 2 this bit value is 4 this bit value is 8 right so this is 0 right so choose nums 0 to 1 1 and 2 is equal to 0 so the array becomes 0 0 and all the elements are equal in one operation right okay now here if you see example number 2 all the elements are same right if all the elements are same then there is no operation required right okay nums is 5 5 5 which already has all the elements equal so 0 operations are required okay here if you notice one more thing let's suppose my nums array is like this 1 2 3 8 7 6 5 4 anything like this like this much big so here if all the elements are not same if any one element is distinct so what i can do i can take this as my l and i can take this as my r and simply i will do bitwise and and replace all with the result of bitwise and right in one operation even if elements are like this 5 5 4 5 i will take this as l this as r i will do bitwise and i will change over to the result of bitwise and in just one operation only case when we have to return zero is when all the elements are same so this is the trick to solve this problem right so we can get our output as zero or one right only these two outputs are possible we are going to get 0 if all the elements are same otherwise we are always going to get 1 right okay so these are the constraints side right so now i hope that you guys can solve this problem by yourself i am moving to the code part now okay all right so here n is nothing but uh, nums dot length and we are going to check if already equal right so boolean all equal i'm going to set it to true i'm going to iterate over all the elements in my uh nums right so here i is equal to 1 i less than n and i plus plus here first nums of i am comparing with the nums of 0 right and then nums of 2 i will compare with the nums of 0 so if any one element is distinct i am just simply going to return the value of all equal to false right and i am going to break it so if all equal if it is true then that means all the elements are same return 0 otherwise one operation on a whole array is always enough right so we are going to return 1 very easy problem right so i hope that you guys are clear with question number one of weekly contest 466 if you guys still have any doubts then please feel free to ask in comment section thank you bye bye